go for some um, sort of basic pushing hand drills uh, from the Wudang form. Um, I'm going to do it solo, so again, it's going to start on my rear hand. I'm starting sort of orthodox stance, then switch it around to Miggy's anti um, southpaw stance. But again, so I'm talking about different arts and what they call it there. But again, this is just left foot forward. This is your right handed style. If you write your right hand, this is, this is your strongest stance. So we're going to start left foot forward and then just get used to transferring the weight back and forth. We're going to start rear hand, which is your right hand, and your left hand here, your left lead hand. Then you're going to come to your lead side, which is your left side, then to your right rear side with both hands. That's like a sort of lap sail. Um, you'll be taking an arm this way, so again, you'll be so sort of this, this hand will be on the elbow, this hand will be on the wrist. Then you're coming back to here, you're generating the power. Like a spring, you're coming back, right hand, right rear hand, left lead hand. This hand's like a sort of knife position there, as in the hand is not here or here, it's like this, slightly angled. And you're coming back this way. So if someone's going to sort of strike and you're just taking their hand back this way, so their hand and their elbow this way, then this way. Then you're coming back rear hand, you're loading off the right rear foot, the left lead hand with a strike. Then they're doing the same back to you, you're coming with a right hand, their right hand, you're coming back this way, deflecting to the side, deflecting to the side. So it goes like this one, two, three, four, all in one. Two, Transferring the weight from the front to the back. Okay, again, it's like a piece of elastic on the hands. One comes forward, one comes back to protect. Then you come to here and back. Again, doing this quite square so you can just see everything. It generally be sort of a lot rounder motion when you're pushing hands with a partner, etc. Be more flow. This would be your one dynamic flow. And we switch around right foot forward. Again, a lot of left handed people will find this their best stance. We're going to start here again. So we're coming off the back leg. Just get used to coming forward and back here, like a spring, coming forward and back, loading and reloading. Okay, and then we're just going to come forward here, left rear hand, right lead hand. We come to the right rear side with both hands as if we've got someone's wrist. And the elbow there, and we come back to the left rear side with both hands. Then we load again the left rear hand, the right lead hand as a strike. Then we come back to the right side with both hands here, the left rear side. Then you're loading off the back leg again, it's like a cold spring coming forward. Again, left rear hand, hand comes here again. This position generally under the armpit and again protecting the vital arteries here right lead hand hand here again then you're going to go to the right side which is the blind side there of your stance okay the lead hand side then the rear side with both hands so that's a deflection this is a strike here Okay, coming forward and back. So again, you're going here, right, left, rear hand, right, lead hand. Then you're coming back this way to your blind side, which is your right side, the lead side, the rear side. So let's do this all in one motion. So it goes one, two, three, four. It's like a one, two, three, four. one like a dynamic hole here and back again loading and reloading becomes all one after a while so 
can't even think about it. Again, two strikes. And then there's a deflection. So again, someone's rear left hand's coming at you and you're deflecting the block. This would be on the elbow. This would be on the wrist as you're deflecting the hand and elbow this way, then back to this side. Someone's doing exactly the same back to you in the mirror version. This would make more sense when you're doing it with someone. Lovely. So we're going for a slightly more complicated one called Nine Palace. So again, Nine Palace starts a bit different. Crossover legs, slightly different. So we start with left foot forward, a more natural stance for any person who's right-handed because their strongest hand's back here. Again, I'm going a little bit more into boxing there, but um, from here, you get to see the legs, gonna come back a little bit. So I'm gonna start with my left lead leg. Same deal, I'm gonna start here. Left lead leg, I'll step forward. Then I step across with my right leg here. Then I step my left foot out here and do the deflection here here, okay, then I step back and start again, so it goes across, one, two, three, four, so it's like a one, two, three, four, so we step across, okay, so again it's a one, two, three, left foot steps out, for the deflection, then we come back again. Again, it's slightly more complicated. One, two, step across. Again, we get that blind side with the deflection here and back. So it's a one, two, three, four. It all becomes one. All these four moves come one after a while. Again, it's a little bit more advanced. If you were doing it with a partner, it'd be even harder. But uh, again, it would make sense after a while. So again, I'll do that on the other side. So again, starting with the right lead foot, right foot forward. Again, so we go one, then we step across, left hand. We step to the side here and back. We step back, we go again. So it's a one, two, step across, three, four. And we go again, it's a one, two, three, four. See the way we load? One, two, step across right foot this time, here and back, one. Again, just like a cord spring. Again, the second one's quite advanced. Um, again, if you're working with someone a little bit more experienced than you, they'll be able to lead you within the pushing hand drills. And yeah, that would be a lot easier once you get going, obviously, Start off with the basic one, start off with the basic pushing hand drill of the rear leg. Lovely, bang. 